Howdy, you guys. So this is a very spur of the moment video. I did not intend on filming this whatsoever. So we have a little bit of a rescue mission on our hands. Someone dumped five rabbits in my town. I actually had saw this post yesterday on Facebook and I was like, oh my God, that's completely awful for someone to do that. And I went back on that post today and it actually turns out that they are dumped in my town, nine minutes from me. This is my calling to go ahead and see what I can do. It is pouring rain outside, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to find these rabbits because I'm sure they're probably hiding away somewhere. But you know what? For peace of mind, I'm gonna take a look and see if I can find any of these rabbits. If I can even just find one, that would be a success in itself. Um, no rabbit should let alone be dumped, but also be outside in these conditions when it's pouring rain outside. The rain's not gonna hurt me, so I'm more than happy to go out there and get drenched. For the rabbit's sake, it's cold, they're gonna be wet, not good for their health, so they need to be inside and dry as soon as possible. So we're gonna see what we can find and what we can do in this situation. Guys, I'm not sure if you can hear this rain right now, but it's intense. It's really like, it's pouring. And to think that there's rabbits outside in this right now, it's just insane. My heart's like pounding right now because I'm in a bit of a rush and kind of stressing myself out. Sorry, I need to find the post on Facebook really quickly and get the location. Whoever like made this post is so good because she posted the exact location of where Starting they are. To Cherry Street. Let's just go. I'm going to be filming a majority of this while I actually drive there. I do want you guys to... I don't know, just be along with me for this journey and literally experience firsthand. The world that we live in, it just doesn't cease to amaze me. It really doesn't. I do have the post. She posted a video and a photo of the rabbits outside. So I can kind of go based off that and kind of pinpoint it to the location um, of where they possibly could be. So I'll see if I can uh, work my magic. Hey guys, I am literally looking at the photo right now. I am at the exact location. Thankfully, it's like not busy over here. Like it's actually pretty dead. It's like kind of where all these like warehouses are located, but still it's, you know, it's still a challenge to, you know, go ahead and find rabbits that are on the loose. Again, with it being rainy out, it does make it harder because, you know, you know, they're probably going to want to be hiding away during this. Stuff like this stresses me out because it's like, you know, knowing they were here and not seeing them, it makes me feel really sad. So I was just parked in the parking lot for a little bit and one of the security guards came up to me. Um, I guess because I'm not really supposed to be parked here, but I told him, I said like, hey, I'm looking for these rabbits that were dumped. Have you seen anything? And he did not. So it sucks. It sucks because I wish I could get answers, you know? There's only so much I can do in a situation like this where these these animals are just running around out here, you know? It makes it really difficult as like one person to just find these little beings hiding somewhere. It truly is a game of like manhunt. <laughs> There's the bunnies. I see three, and then there's another one. Oh god, I hope they are not skittish. Come on, buddies. But well, there's one, two, three, and then there's another one somewhere else. I gotta see if I can get in there somehow, honestly. All right, so this entire thing is fenced off. So there's no trespassing, but there's a part over there that I can get into. And I think I just need to do it. I don't even care. I need to get these buns and get them out of here. There's three that I can see. There's also one more that's, I think, somewhere under one of these cars. I'll take a look once I get these ones because these are in my line of sight. So I'm going to try and get these ones, I think. I don't know. Maybe call the police and see if they can help. I don't know. But I'm happy that I located them. That's a good thing. But I need to get them. That's the issue. I found you guys. Come on. Come on, we gotta get out, buddies. 
Oh my goodness. Okay guys, I got one. I got one of the rabbits into the crate. It was a process. I don't know how I'm doing this by myself, but I'm managing. There's three more left that I've seen. The other one, the fifth one that she supposedly said there is, I don't, I'm not seeing it. So I'm gonna keep looking around, especially in like the junkyard where all the cars are and see if I can find it. But this is difficult with just one person. So if I can't get them all today, um, I'll come back tomorrow with an extra set of hands, a friend or something and um, more of a protocol and like extra supplies that I can actually trap them with. But I'm gonna put this one in this tub right here, see if I can just let them relax. Um, and then we'll go from there. Keep trying to catch them. It's so hard to record and do this at the same time. So I'm just gonna update you guys throughout the process. Okay guys, here's all four buns. We've got the one. I have eyes on all four. I'm going to try my best to get them all in this one night. I am committed to getting all them. I set up the carrier all the way over there where the hole is and hopefully they'll just run into that. I'm gonna try and chase one of them over there. They're very skittish um, and just see if I can just trap it in there and just do that process over and over again for all of these. So I'm gonna keep going. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, I caught one. I caught one. It's better than none. Um, the auto body shop that they were hiding under like all the cars they ended up closing, so I can't get into it anymore. I asked the guy, can I come over tomorrow morning? He said, yes, it's fine. Um, it's just a hassle. There's so many holes in the fence and they keep going to the one side, then they have to go all the way around and they it's, it's so much as, as one person. So I gotta bring like someone tomorrow or two people to help me out. Weirdly, and I'm a little sussed out, this couple came up to me, they were driving and they were like, leave those rabbits alone. I was like, what do you mean leave those rabbits alone? He said, those are wild rabbits. I said, these are domestic rabbits. And he's like, you need to get out of here. Like just like a random guy. And I have a sneaky suspicion that he could be the one that dumped them. He was like, I'm gonna call the cops. And I was like, dude, I already called the cops to get permission, so go right ahead. I don't, I don't care. I'm here to save these rabbits, do what you want. So I don't know, I really don't know. I really don't know if he's a person. Honestly, it doesn't even matter because my mission, my goal is to go ahead and try and save these rabbits and see if I can. Um, obviously I would have wanted to save more, but one is good. One is good. We'll make, oh, there's the other one. Oh my God. I see the other one. All right. There's one right on the street right there. I'm going to see if I can actually trap it in the street and go get it. Okay. Oh my God. All right. One second guys. I could not get it. I just tried. I tried to trap it in this like back section. It went into like a whole bunch of junk mattresses, trash. It was too much. It was also someone's backyard, so I won't even bother. Um, but okay, I've got a game plan tomorrow. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stuff all the holes in the fence and try and get them and think that'll work. And then extra hands will obviously help as well. Let's get an X pen set up and all of its necessities that it needs because it's been without it for God knows how long. Still can't believe like that guy came up to me. That's so sketchy. Like, who are you to say that like what I'm doing is like something I shouldn't be doing? Like, the only reason why I think someone would be saying that is because they dump them, right? Am I crazy for thinking that? I don't know. Whatever. I'm just glad we got one, guys. This is so exciting. He's right back there, or she's right back there in the big tub with a pig mat liner on top of it. Let's go head home and let's set this baby up and get him or her what she needs, finally, for once and for all. And give it love and care, the most important thing. Alrighty, guys, I'm home. I'm home and I have the rabbit inside of this bin. Please ignore Mikey. I think he can smell this rabbit, but here, here she is. Filthy, disgusting, gross. Super scared, as you can tell by the really buggy eyes. We're gonna go ahead and set this baby up with a proper pen for the time being. I'm gonna clear out some of this stuff. This is like Milo's old stuff. I might actually just use it for this rabbit so they have it. This bunny's gonna get spoiled for the night. Um, and going forward, I feel so bad. Oh my God, you're a very sweet looking baby. Yes, you are. You're safe, I promise. No more outside in the rain. Alrighty, you guys. So I just went ahead and cleared out this section so it's all nice and open to set up this X-Pen. I'm so happy that I took advantage of that deal when it was buy two, get one free, because I have two extra ones of these. So it honestly worked out. I'm so curious to know its story, where it came from, who was the owner. Did I actually come in contact with the owner that night? Why would they be driving around, asking me questions? I have a lot of questions, honestly. Oh my god, I put, I put the X-Pen upside down, you know what? I do not even care. <laughs> this is supposed to be 
the other way around. Whatever. It is what it is. It's the same thing. I know, you're very scared. Okay. Okay. They're petrified right now. Like, so, so scared. It's okay. It's okay. I know, it's okay. Oh my god, guys. So, so scared. Hey. It's okay. It's okay, I promise. You're okay. You're in safe hands. You're in safe hands. I went ahead and filled in the gap with the pig mat so it's nice and cushiony and soft. Definitely not what this rabbit was on before. So I just need to go ahead and get all the essentials, toys, litter box with hay, maybe some pellets, a water dish, all that stuff. So gonna go ahead, grab that, and then we'll, uh, I guess, just see how this rabbit settles in. So I just finished setting up the pen, so I went ahead and put a litter box with some pine pellets on the bottom with a big mound of orchard grass hay. Again, this is a fleece liner. I have a willow ball, popcorn ball, water dish, heavy ceramic dish so they can drink. I've got a little willow heart too right there. We've got a little wooden house. This used to be Milo's, but this is the buns now. I decided to donate it because, you know, obviously this rabbit is scared and it does need somewhere to hide and feel safe. So that's probably gonna be where that rabbit hangs out the most. And then I went ahead and also grabbed a couple of Milo's pellets and just threw them in right there and also a couple in the house. Probably no one to eat right now because this rabbit is obviously petrified, but maybe in time and throughout the night, this rabbit will get a little bit more comfortable. It may take a while because, you know, this was definitely a hard situation to come from. I cannot believe that someone just dumped these rabbits knowing that this rabbit once lived with the family. It's insane. So I'm gonna not bother this rabbit as much as I possibly can because it is now time for this rabbit to settle in. I'm not going to pick it up and try and sex it. It looks overall really healthy. There's no you know, active concerns um, or any physical concerns that I have for this rabbit. So everything is fine there, but I do need to go ahead and clean up this room and make more room for the other X-Pen that I can put in here. Um, I probably may have to split this one down the middle and do one for this rabbit, one for the other, and do the same for the second one. That way I can have two rabbits in one. And for the last one, I'll do like a little DIY cage out of CNC grids. So this room may turn into like actually the rabbit room and be just filled with rabbits. I have no idea what's gonna happen with these rabbits. I really don't. Um, I have been in contact with a bunch of rescues, so I will contact them. Uh, once we get in possession of all of them and see if they can help out in any way. But for right now, you know, I'm focused on saving these rabbits, getting them into a much better and way safer situation. I mean, you know, God forbid, there's there's hawks out there that could attack these rabbits and, you know, kill them. The sooner that I get these rabbits into my care, the better for them, the better for their future. I am itching to go tomorrow and, uh, get the rest. I'm hoping that we can do it pretty easily. I didn't think that I was actually going to be able to do this, you guys. I really didn't. I thought that this vlog was going to be a fail. I wasn't going to find the rabbits. I wasn't going to see them, that this video was not going to be posted. But here we are. And I am honestly glad that I'm able to post this because that means that we're saving these rabbits. So yeah, we got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Um, it's going to be stressful. It's going to be long. It's going to be, I'm sure, hard. I'm sure we're going to be getting dirty. Um, it won't be easy, but I'm ready to take on this challenge and get these rabbits saved. Alrighty, you guys. So it is now the nighttime. It is 1247 at night. So I went ahead and actually added in a nightlight right here. So it was just a little bit more cozy for her or him. But yeah, they have not moved at all from the house, as to be expected, honestly, after what this rabbit has been through. It is very scared. So I'm hoping by the time that I wake up tomorrow, I see some water that's been drank in and also some hay that's been eaten and also hopefully some poops. I went ahead and actually gave the rabbit uh, two sprigs of parsley um, just to see if you know they wanted to munch on it, but they're too scared. They're really not wanting to munch on anything, but again, I'm not surprised by that. So yeah, we're gonna just leave this rabbit be. I went ahead and actually set up this pen right here 
for the other rabbits that we're gonna rescue tomorrow. I do have some really relaxing music playing right now for the bun. I love like binaural beats, so I feel like this will help them to just relax a little bit. But yeah, that is going to be it from me on our first day of this massive and unexpected rescue. I hope you guys have enjoyed, um, you know, this craziness of a vlog so far, but um, yeah, I will talk with you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. So it is officially our rabbit's first morning here with us. And I can see that the rabbit ate the pellets that I put in there, the parsley, and it looks like the rabbit actually was sitting in the litter box and possibly ate some hay because it's all squished down because it was like all fluffed up before. So I'm really happy to see that now. Still very scared, very, very scared. As you can see, you could just tell by the body language. But this is good, this is good. You know, they got food in their system, which is an important thing. We do need to see some poops, but we'll give them a little bit more time. And uh, I think that we'll be on our way to acting like a semi-normal rabbit. I am about to head out to actually pick up some supplies. Um, anything that I think that I'll need, I'm just gonna pick up. Um, if I don't use it, I'll return it. But I have an idea, I think, as far as like how I think to actually capture these successfully. Um, and do it efficiently, most importantly. I'm hoping that by today we'll have all the rest in this room. Um, again, I am going to be splitting this cage down the middle so I can have one rabbit here, one rabbit here. I've actually never sexed rabbits myself. I did watch a video last night on how to do it um, and distinguish, and it seems very difficult, very hard. So I'm gonna try my best to do it, but I do know that there's possibly a chance that I might get it wrong, but I'm gonna try my absolute hardest to confirm um, each and every single one. All right, guys, we got the second rabbit. Oh my God, he's so cute. Okay. Um, we got three more to go. We did have eyes on another one. We're gonna go ahead and try to get that one. But look at this little sweet pumpkin. Look at the eyes, so scared. It's okay, you're safe now. All right, on to the next ones. We caught, or Ava caught, the third one. Aww. Here, here she is, right here. I just wanna show you guys actually where it was. So it was behind, well it was first under the car, and then it was behind this like pump gas thingy. And then the rabbit ran over right here, came through this direction, Ava caught it right there. So two more to go. We haven't seen them, so we're gonna just keep looking around. Let's see if we can find them. this one so yeah oh okay so these are your rabbits so yeah they are oh. yeah you don't want any help with them or anything no. so we raised them too no no, no. we are raising yeah, yeah we, we have we, we have just, rabbits at we home just, we like a rescue we just raise them at home we don't okay. breed them or anything we just feed them and take care of them we are they are just roaming and we order one cage for them right yeah there. Okay. well Habitat. yeah so we're just we're worried for like the safety because crossing the street and stuff yeah, you know, they like, will go. I know. Yeah, like, they they so these are car. these are like domestic rabbits, and um, he he has a rescue inside, and they all okay. live like it's very safe. I will talk to my boss on that. Safe inside. Do you want to give him your number? number? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can give you my number. Rescue came to a halt. Um, we were interrupted by some guy when we were in the back alley with our eyes on the the fourth rabbit, um, who was like behind like bikes and mattresses, and he had said that those are his rabbit and those are his rabbits and that they were waiting on a cage to arrive mm -hmm. 
So like they're just letting them. It's, they're literally be glass outside. bottles. They're yeah. literally on glass bottles and shit. And we tried to like explain to them like that's like not. That's not appropriate. Like that's they should not be outside. And he was like, yeah, they just run across the street mm -hmm. and stuff. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah. So we don't care about if they get hit by a car. Nothing like that. Um, but the guy was like, I'll take your number. And then he was like, actually come into my store. Because I left it unattended. Yeah, and I told Ava, I was like, no, this is sketchy. Thank I'm God. not, <laughs> yeah, you're like, let's go. <laughs> like, let's go in his store. Yeah, no, I don't stop. No, it didn't feel right. Kill us over rabbits. The rescue's at a pause right now. Okay. We got to, the guy doesn't know that we sweat that we got to. We didn't tell him. They said that they're, they're his rabbits and that we'll just leave. Um, so I think the best protocol is honestly just come back when it's dark out, um, when they close up the shop and we'll just try again. Cause that way no one can see us. Um, and I just think it might be better. And the girl said that they come out at night. Yeah. So they might be more out and about. Like, live in the store, does he? I don't like, think so. Unless it's Sometimes like he lives like above yeah. or something. Uh, I don't know. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> we were this close. We could have gotten it. We could have gotten the rabbit. the fluffiest one, too. I want to go back. Oh, we got two. I got I mean, one if, yesterday. At least, like, if, it would be different if the rabbit was, like, visibly hurt. It was yeah, at least no, it's just fine. there in yeah. the corner. So. And the one that we rescued, the first one, no, the second one that we rescued, that was the one that looked like it had an eye issue, oh. but it looks fine. Okay, good. So, if, I have no concerns about the other rabbit, so I think... I think it's okay. We got the two, they're back there. Um, gonna head home, put them in their X-Pens, and then we'll just see what we can do going forward. Um, I did tell you guys, this is probably gonna be like a long process. Rescue work is not easy. Um, sometimes it takes like a week to get, you know, animals that have been dumped. Um, I'm almost wondering, like, do we just get like a live trap and like set it out there in like a section that they're not gonna know? Cause I can ask like the car people be like, hey, can I just like set this here could. And yeah, then they'll for just sure. be locked in there, put it in a corner or something. To where like they won't the it. owner won't see. Yeah, and put food in it. And, and put stuff. food in it, yeah. You could try. I think I might do that. I feel I feel so guilty leaving the two I left. Know. It's, it's just not fair. Especially when we well, saw it. There is nothing. Stopped us mid like peak <laughs> dopamine and adrenaline. Like it's there, I'm filming like, like everything. Oh, this, hi, who are you? Um, He's like, hi. Great. These are our rabbits. And you're like, you we, you're like, rabbits. where do they, do you breed that? Like, where do they live? Like, he's like sh pointing to a barn that's like closed. It's no, it's the story doesn't add up. The story never adds up when it comes to these. All right. Well, we got two and that's all that matters. So everything's set up. We'll take them home. We'll get them all settled in and then we'll uh, get the rest, hopefully. So we'll talk to you guys later. So we are about to move the two rabbits into their enclosure. So I just went ahead and split this with some CNC grids. Oh. <laughs> Obviously it's not like a massive size. It's not what they're used to because they had all outside, but they're in much better care. They're gonna get everything they need. So we're gonna go ahead and actually move in the rabbits now. All right, so this is the first one that we rescued. Who's so sweet, oh my God. And they're very scared. So they're gonna like jump around and stuff. Oh my God. Do you think you can like put the rabbit over there? Like are you, okay. Oh my God, let me just get a look at it. Wait, this one's beautiful. I know. Wow. You're all safe, buddy. Alrighty, and this is the one that was behind that like gas tank. Oh my goodness, like little a, munchkin. Okay, I don't think this was the one that I saw then, that with the bad eye. No, no there was like an almost an all white one. Okay, so we're missing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh my God, you scared me so much just then. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually were. You never know. No, you don't know. It's got a pretty, honestly, it's got a pretty. It's chilly. Imagine. Just like, oh, it feels wow. different than Milo's belly. That's a big belly in there. Oh, well. Okay, there we go. Oh, honey. Are you okay, Missy? Oh, God. It's okay, baby. You're okay. All right, so we got one, we got two, we got three. This one's living in luxury with her whole pen though. <laughs> they're jealous. I think maybe if she sees them, look at them, they're all facing that way.
Oh my goodness, you guys. It has been such a long day. Um, Ava just left, but I wanted to, I guess, talk with you guys a little bit about how today went um, and the experience. So, of course, we were able to save two. Um, we did have eyes on the third one, which was the one that was behind that like little stairwell with all the bikes and stuff and all the trash. Uh, but we were approached by someone um, that kind of ruined, I guess, the rescue. He notified us that those are his rabbits. Um, they are out and about until they get a new cage. The story just does not make sense whatsoever. Um, to think that even if that was the case, then you're going to be the one to go ahead and catch those rabbits, if it's even physically possible, and then put them in a cage. The story just does not make sense to me, but that's kind of how it is in rescue work. Um, in my days of rescuing pigs, everything that these owners say, not all the time, but most of the time, it's just very confusing. Um, and it just seems like this guy, allegedly, if he is the owner, is just not aware of what the morally right thing, not even the morally right thing to do is, but also like, like what kind of care these rabbits actually need. Like he should know that they're not supposed to be outside because all the environmental factors could basically end their life. Traffic, people, storms, hawks, everything. There's so many factors that could take, you know, these precious bunnies lives away. Um, and to think that he is not thinking about that, it's insane. But regardless of the point, uh, we did save three in total. I do have plans on actually going tonight, I think. Um, the only thing now is that like with this guy knowing that we are saving these rabbits and catching them, um, I think he might be on guard or something. He runs a store, so maybe like tonight when it closes, I'll go there and just kind of scope out the place and see if I can find any. But then again, it's like, I, I should probably go with a friend. So I'll see. Yeah, we got we got three. They're currently all just hanging inside of the little X-Pens. I did have to split them because I don't have enough X-Pens on me, um, nor do I have, you know, the room for each one to have one. Um, honestly, I'm probably gonna run a bunch of stuff over to my studio so I can actually clear this out. Um, and have more room. Yeah, the rabbits are safe. Uh, Health-wise, they look fine. They look physically okay. They're just dirty and scared. Uh, you know, they're not like malnourished. They feel pretty, pretty hefty, pretty good weight. So it's kind of, I don't know, it's confusing the whole situation and I won't ever get those answers. Um, so all I can really focus on is going forward, how I'm gonna take care of these animals. I did make a call to my local animal shelter uh, and they actually don't have any room for intakes of rabbits. Um, they're predominantly like a cat and dog focus rescue so they don't really do like rabbit work um they currently have only three rabbits but they're not looking to take any more so i will make my rounds of calling rescues to see if you know they have any room but i did know getting into this there was going to be possibly the chance for me to have to hold on to them for some time so i do not mind whatsoever you know having to do that and thankfully again i do have you know the room i do have the means of actually you know, keeping them here and housing them for some time. Um, obviously, I don't plan on keeping them forever, so I do really hope I can find some placement elsewhere. But for the time being, it's all good. We're taking care of them. I will be trying to, again, go and save those last two um, because the other one that's still out there, um, it's a matching pair to the first one, but the other one I think has an eye issue. That's the one that I saw uh, the first night. Um, and I really just want to get that rabbit checked out as soon as possible and see what's going on with its eye because it almost looked like it was gone entirely closed something of the sorts so Yeah, these rabbits definitely need saving and I just feel Really anxious knowing that there's like two more out there I have to focus on the fact that I was able to save two today one yesterday I've got more than half here. So it's really amazing. Uh, thank you Ava Especially for joining me on this adventure today. I honestly would have not been able to do it without her She made such an amazing catch as you guys could have seen before with catching uh, that bunny. It was very swift It was hard. It was difficult, but she did it. Yeah, I'm really glad that we were able to do what we did today you know these rabbits should not be outside in the wild um, if they were once domesticated they need to be indoors in x pens you know getting the proper care all the nutrition that they need so they're going to be getting just that um, from this point forward i still feel a little bit sketched out with that guy coming up to us he didn't know thankfully the guy did not know that we had two rabbits in the back of our car um, because that would have not been good. He would have been like, uh, yeah, get those rabbits out of your car. We didn't tell him we had any rabbits. We just drove off. He actually invited us into his store to like exchange numbers. And I told Ava and I was like, we need to leave right now because this does not seem like a 
good situation to be in. I don't feel like getting involved with a situation like that because this world's a crazy place. You don't know what could happen. So yeah, I will only be left to wonder what could have been if I went inside that store. I am exhausted. I actually need to grab something to eat because I am so tired. I've eaten nothing all morning and it's already 1 p.m. It's actually lunchtime, um, but these rabbits are all nice and settled into their X-Pens. Um, so I'm going to leave them be and I will chat with you guys later on. Thank you.